please stand by. And we're live. Well, I am at least one of us. The lesser half of Alderman Farms. The better half of Alderman Farms will be in shortly. We both just came in from the garden. Hey, Annie, Carly Ann, watching on Facebook. Um, she'll be in shortly. We've been out in the garden where we filmed a garden update tour that I am trying to get uh, from my iPhone to my laptop so that we can show you the garden update tonight um, instead of looking at all those egg cartons back there behind me. Uh, it's been crazy around here. So hi Mardella on Facebook. Let's see, we've got a good crowd over here. Hey Nunda! Also got a little video uh, pertaining to Nunda that I'm trying to get loaded from my phone. Look at you with your sweaty shirt. Oh, yeah. This is a working had, woman right here. We had, we had, we talked about one of our shows about that we're real. Well, this is as real as it gets. I just came out the garden. <laughs> look, look at her head. This is sweat, not water. Ooh. Tell it them about. Smell good, baby. Smell good to me, buddy. <laughs> Tell them about who was that? Where are you going? Was that Carly Ann? What are you or talking about? Somebody that day when I came, they said, "Where are you going?" Oh no, it was, it was Carly Ann. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in the bedroom with Mama, and um, I was standing by her bed, and my head was wet because I come in with my ponytail and I take it down. I, I'll leave it up while the show is going on. I reckon because <laughs> it helps to cool you down once you got that sweat going in there. And so, and I've got, my hair's got a little bit of curl in it, so it looked, it was damp and it was curly, and she come over there, she said, where are you going? I said, nowhere, why? And she said, you didn't just get a bath? I said, no, that's sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I sweat a lot now. I used to not, but ever since my thyroid went crazy, I, I sweat. Well, you ought to be sweating. It was like... But I used to be, I was one of those weird kind of people that, I mean, don't touch me, please. <laughs> I want... <laughs> well, I'm hot. No, yeah, that's good. Sorry. I'm not being ugly. Oh, I forgot I got a tomato in my pocket. I was trying to get the tomatoes picked. I found one more to pick. Anyway, so, you got the video up? Not yet. Not yet? It's still converting. What about I got the other the other videos. But anyway, let me see who, let me say hey to people. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, get caught up over there. <sighs> Picture of life with lips. This is hysterical. Amy's... <laughs> living on a dime's picture with the lips is hilarious or hysterical yeah i was so quick i was trying to snap them uh while the video was playing i was watching it live and um then uh dave uh got tommy a good picture so several good pictures now yeah. i got my little mini mic that i can carry with me everywhere <laughs> Hey, Mini Mike. They're say so, say goodbye, Mini Mike. They're such good sports. <laughs> anyway, hey, Rocks Corner. Hey, Nanda. Oh, hey. oh, yeah, look, you're getting lots of love on Mike's picture. Yay. Hey, Daniel. Carly Ann just said, you just took a shower. Hey, Daniel Weeks. <laughs> Hello, Marine. Oh, hey, uh, Amy. Jan oh, and Brooke. Goodness. Brooke. Brooke not Hill niece, Brooke, Brooke Tardiff. Hill, Tardiff. No, not, hey, Brooke. not our niece, Brooke. Another brook. It's another brook. Uh, yeah. And then it says, Pe people pay money to go to the sun. I just go to the garden. That's right. Yeah, that's about <laughs> right. I did want to show them this picture. You want to tell them about this right quick? I don't see it. What is it? Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. McCullough um, at the farmer's market, It's a, uh, and Miss McCullough, um, they uh, make... Uh, well, we haven't. Have we shot them your rocking chairs too that we got from oh, them? No. I got Tommy rocking chairs for Father's Day, me and the kids. And um, anyway, he uh, the next week or two, he uh, brought me that birdhouse, and it's to put around your garden to encourage bluebirds to come because they eat bugs. So, and everybody needs. Uh, yep, Ellen says bluebird house. That's right. So hopefully we'll get a family of bluebirds moved in there. So I like the way he we'll did see. it with that. You know, it's built in. The uh, it's designed to go on it to slip on over a uh, a teapot. Oh, it's Canadian brook. Canadian brook. <laughs> <That's watching. laughs> and Nancy from Ohio. Hey guys. Uh, but it's it's built to just slip right over a T-post like that, so I was happy to know that that was. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a chimney, but it's it's the way it goes over the T-post, so it's really cool. Um, Oh, Mike's back. 
Mike's back. Hey, um, little Mike. Mini Mike. Nanda says her grandma is a McCullough, and I think the McCullough is, is O U G H. And see, I get so confused. What is she, what is she, um, Craig uh, and him is uh, is O C H. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's different ways McCulloch. to spell it. Huh. But anyway, um, so farmers market's been going good. But the one reason I want to get out there and pick my tomatoes, um, a lot of them are just they're, they're really I'll leave them on there a little longer sometimes, but. Um, I went ahead and picked them for the market. I have, um, I've frozen four gallons of just whole tomatoes that I'll take out during the winter, hopefully, and can. Um, if not, I'll just use them straight out the freezer like that. But I like having them in the jar. It's just easier. But um, anyway, and I still have my ugly tomatoes that I can keep. But my pretty tomatoes I'm going to um, bring to the market because... It's been such a hard season for the farmers. Um, we had, you know, remember we had such a cool spring, and you would automatically think, well, everything got a late start, so it's going to last longer. That's not the case. It is, everything is burning up. So, um, it almost played out. Yeah, um, we have, st we still have lots Girls. of tomatoes, but they're getting smaller, you know. So, but um, I'm going to bring my tomatoes to the market and sell them. So, I sold, uh, what did I say? Thirty something dollars worth, I think, at the market Tuesday. Yeah, something like that. So, and everybody, I didn't know how they would react to my tomatoes because I have heirloom tomatoes, and I think I showed them last time, last week, um, some of my tomatoes, and they're heirloom tomatoes, so they look a little different. Some are dark colored, and you know, different shapes and different, you know, and some's pink. Hey, hey, bandana grandma. Hey, bandana grandma. But um, <laughs> now you've made it to the standby screen, bandana grandma. <laughs> 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 that's what you get for hanging out with Mike that's and Tara. That's what you get for hanging out with Mike and Tara. That is the, <laughs> that's the uh, the risk that you run hanging out with, with Mike and Tara. <laughs> um, Music Well said the heat is making a lot of theirs ugly, but they're still going. Cukes dropped fast, though. My cucumbers, you know, the goats ate them a few times, but I've actually picked, I've sold four cucumbers, which mine are the Japanese long. They're the real long ones. Um... They're actually doing good. Um, irrigation is the key. Yeah, we, we have been irrigating them, so that's... And we've uh, been getting some rain. Too. Yeah, that's making it, making it good. But, you know, some of my tomatoes... Um, let me see if I can grab one. Speaking of farmers, hey, Craig Smith on Facebook. Hey, Craig. Craig's one of our local farmers yep. from the farmer's market. Um, we were just talking about the struggles you guys are uh, facing, Craig, with, uh, with the heat and whatnot. Um... One thing that I had said when we were talking, we did the tomato video, uh, tomato taste test video, and um, Chelsea was on it with us. If y'all haven't seen it, it's up on YouTube. Yeah. But anyway, um, I was talking to Rebecca, our uh, county agent, about the tomatoes, and uh, I had decided this is my, uh, and you'll see them on the video if it ever uploads, what is it? It's Mortgage Lifter, and it, it by far is making way more tomatoes. I'm not crazy about how it goes how it goes in like that, but it's not horrible. I've seen tomatoes that are worse. But what I really wasn't liking about them is, I forget what, Rebecca, there's a word to call that. Um, and I thought it was the kind of tomatoes that, I'm, that, that they are that's, that makes that spot on the, the top the top the, the very first slice is my favorite <laughs> so that's the bottom of the tomato well yeah that's the blossom end yeah. part and this is the stem end but anyway but that's my favorite uh cut of the tomato is that top part i peel my tomatoes by the way but anyway um rebecca told me that a lot of times it's just what's going on in the year it's not necessarily um, the kind of the variety of tomatoes, but like how it was so cold, like if it was stressed when it was starting to form or whatever, that's what makes this not necessarily the kind of tomato that it is. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. So I, you know, since this tomato has been so prolific and it's still setting tomatoes, um, if you, if the video will load, you'll if see the it video on there. Ever load. If not, we'll just have to post it. Because, um, there are some that, um, you know, once it gets up to up past 90 degrees, the blooms start drop, 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 make it, make it, make it, make it. Make it. But this one, there, 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 there be tomatoes on there, on there, on there, on there. Um, it's, 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 you know, to grow if you want to get, want to get, want to get, want to go. Right, right, right. You gave me an error. Hey, Rain. Let me, I'm going to try this one more time. Um, let's see. 
quit that. So um, over on Facebook, uh, Mardella wanted to know mm-hmm. which tomato did you like best? From the taste test, um, golly, I can't even remember. I thought I was going to say the yellow tomato because when I had it on a sandwich, I was just like amazed with it. Um, but after it's not a strong taste, and so after tasting the other tomatoes, the yellow tomato didn't even seem like it had any taste. But as far as on sandwiches, um, I don't know. I'm liking all of them. Oh, but I picked um, the granny ones. Let me see if I can reach back here and get it. Um, the granny Cantrell German red tomato. Now, they've done horrible. I won't, I won't do them again. But oh, and it's leaking. One of them's leaking. But anyway, this is it. And I can't wait to taste it. I told Tommy, I said, I hope it don't taste amazing because I really, it's, it's not hardly making any tomatoes. <laughs> but this one's got... This and is, the bugs like them. Yeah, is that the, one the, the bugs, bugs like? are eating them. Those uh, little stink bugs. This is looking the first things. three I've got to pick, and I threw three away today. Huge ones too. They're really big. Boy, so. it's just a Canadian reunion on Facebook. Here's Valerie from, uh, from Canada. <laughs> hey, all right. But, so um, anyway, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna eat a sandwich on with one of, with this one after the show. And try and see. Oh. But anyway, uh, I can't say that name. Simjumbly. Russell. Yes. Said the shortest day has come and gone, so waiting till it warms up before I can even start to put out seeds. Wow. Giving me many ideas for the coming season. Where are you located? Because, whew, it's plenty, plenty, plenty warm here. And Craig, Amy says it's called a belly button. <laughs> and Craig said, "Craig said that's Cat what face. Rebecca told. He he's he's saying yeah, that's what Rebecca said. He had a bunch that looked like they had really bad scars, but Rebecca said they, they as they were making the blooms, they had a cold night and hurt the blooms. Oh, and we did. Yeah, we know we had lots of yeah, those cold we really did evenings have and a lot cold of those. nights. So um, so you want to you want to do face. the uh, cat face? That might be what she called it, cat face." Maybe. Might might well be. So you want to do the uh, the goat update? Yeah. Videos, um, little string of videos. <laughs> oh, somebody says buffering. What do the stink bugs do to the tomatoes? Everything looks good on our end. So if it's buffering on your end, uh, on your end, uh, refresh. refresh it. Yeah. Stink stink bugs stick in a little fine needle thing and uh, suck out the juice, I think, or something. And it makes a bad spot on there. If you see tomatoes, it has like a little brown, a black spot on there. And so, um, it, New uh, South Wales, it messes Australia. it up. From Australia. Well, good day from Down Under. Or <laughs> good day to Down Under, not from Down Under. Because <laughs> I'm not Down Under. Hey, Jeff. All right. Um, Rock's Corner says, Tommy, your beard, you and your beard are looking scholarly. <laughs> that beard would look great. Well, thank you. On a bust of you. <laughs> and thought about that. Kind of a Greek look, looking thing. I don't know. And Rain said, that's the beard is an entity of its own. Yeah. Yeah, I want to, Tommy was saying, thinking he might need to trim it. And I told him, no, wait, 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 because I want to measure him and Mike Pratt's beard. See who's just the well, one. Well, I mean, Mike has really just a little trimmed bit, his. It still looks okay, like when I have to Ain't put no on mama. dress clothes to go uh, do business things. You know, oh, it's, it looks okay. Oh, but let me tell y'all, at the at Tuesday before last, Tommy came up to the farmers market. Oh. And uh, a friend of ours, she always buys stuff from us. She gets our fresh chickens when we have them um, and everything. Anyway, her name's Jan, and uh, Tommy hadn't seen her in a while, and so he saw her. She walked up to my table, and he was standing there, and he said, hey, and he went to hug her, and she backed up with this funny look on her face. He freaked her out. She did not know who he was. She hadn't seen him since his beard had grown out, so it was so funny. It was so funny. And she funny. told me, she said, that you looked kind of like a hippie. <laughs> Well, I think I might have had my hat on. You did. You had your hat on, too. I had my new my new uh, uh, Shelta Seahawk mm-hmm. sun hat that I absolutely love. So I had it on, and I don't remember what kind of shirt mm-hmm. I had on, you know. I don't but, either. Uh, hey, Sherry. Know. Oh, yeah, Nanda said, that's right, Nanda. Uh, let me get it. Give me one of them. Uh, say that word again. Where? That 
Not, Niagas? I don't I'm a, know I'm if that's how buying, you say it. I'm going to quit buying tomatoes that I can't pronounce their names. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know if terrible. that's how you pronounce it. It's just it, it looks like how it's spelled. But, but anyway, I don't. you can't really see the uh, how... Well, you, it's it's just not doing just. It's a darker color tomato. This one is the one it is. Anyway, and when you cut it, the uh, inside is real dark too. And she said, Chelsea said that was her first comment. She said, Ugh. She said that looks dead. And that ended up being her it favorite. Ended up being tomato. her favorite tomato. Yeah. So, and, and then the next was the uh, mortgage lifter. You so. can't go by. Can't go by. Uh, looks, I guess. So. Um, Peace Fun Spray says Doug's beard longer than yours. I think it is. Yeah, I don't know. I think know. so. I think so. I don't know. Each each man's beard is its own <laughs> its own thing. Yeah. So I'm not in competition with anybody, <laughs> except Cameron, my son Cameron. Yeah. I just wanna, and I think I've got him right now, but probably because he trimmed his. Yeah. But, but that's I'm, okay. You're I'm gonna have to. There's a limit somewhere yeah. because I still have He's to exist in the job, business world. So. <laughs> but I don't think I've reached it yet. You know, because mm -hmm. it'll just get to when when I make the determination. That it no longer looks professional in dress clothes, um, but a lot. I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of that has to do with what you do with your hair, and I actually need a haircut. And uh, they always need a haircut. I actually need always. a haircut, but you know when I when I style it, you know, nice and tight, and I've got a clean, fresh haircut, and I'm in dress clothes. Believe it or not, it still looks in 2018. It has a professional look because in 2018, big beards are acceptable on professional men so i don't know that's my two cents of course my bosses could say get rid of it and we would that'd be the end of it yeah, yeah. so and by the way if y'all are just joining us i've just come straight out the garden that's why i'm sweating yeah i didn't spit and, uh, on her that's not spit but oh i'm still hot she's still um, hot. i know she's always hot 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 tommy um, I don't care if the sun don't shine i get my love you're gonna get us monetized time. or whatever that's called no not that one. Oh. Okay. Well, you don't tell me I can't touch you, so. Yeah, because it's making me hot. Can't Not touch this. Like <laughs> <dun, dun, dun. laughs> yeah, that's that. Don't make you monetize. <laughs> yeah, Brooke, Brooke said I should braid it and yeah. put like beads down one Let's side. Let's do that for the hoot nanny. And then I can get a Scottish, and I can talk in a Scottish accent. Yeah, look, that's long enough. I can braid that. I, I do have long enough mustache hairs. Well, I could make it look. I could, I could do. I could uh, make it look like it's your mustache hairs. I could do a, a handlebar mustache if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. It kind of hurts, you know. Well, hold still. Whose idea was this? Brooke. And I probably have some beads that we can string up on there, too. Or I could twist it together and make you some dreadlocks in your beard. No, I don't want dreadlocks in my beard. Then you would have to... Uh... I'd have a starry Hilder beard. Starry <laughs> doesn't have a beard, but... You know what I mean. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't think that... Maybe I just need to braid, braid two like this. Yeah. Like that. Then I look like a crazy mountain man. Get that out. <laughs> anyway, uh... By Rock's Corner says, I love that Tommy's bringing sexy back to beards. <laughs> hey, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Rain Country says, You're just don't pulling. put the beard in a bun like the new man <laughs> bun thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's going to do if he starts going bald. He's just going to comb his beard over his head. Yeah. I call those soccer moms. <sighs> Tommy, Tommy. And now one of them's going to show up at my house and kick my tail. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nunda, Nunda says your hair is chromed very hey, nicely. Mary. I've never heard it put quite that way. Oh, thank you. And and Susan speaking of Nunda, uh, Susan says that uh, Tommy looks like he should start selling cough drops, Smith Brothers. I don't get it. I don't either. I feel like I should get it, but Me I too. don't. Sorry. And Rain says she don't know the name of her snow peas either, so I don't feel so bad. Or can't pronounce it. Speaking of Nunda. <coughs> Speaking of Nunda. Patty had a birthday. I did. On July the 9th. She was 29 again. 51. She was 51. And she got a surprise. I did. I loved it All right, so, too. Be, so be quiet. Okay. Yeah. You tell me only Nunda was going to see this. 
Oh, this is from Nanda. Yeah, it's from Nanda. Ah. I wondered about the wrapping. I thought it was pretty, but I wondered. Oh, I bet it's you never heard of it. It's Nanda, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Nanda. She was surprised and happy. Very surprised. <laughs> okay, back over here. We're live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pat I is, was watching the thing. I was watching the delayed replay. Thank you, Nanda. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nanda. Score. That was so sweet. I love it. <coughs> love and, it, love it. And, and, and uh, the kids made me supper. What was that, Saturday night? No, Sunday night. They made Sunday us night. made me supper, and we actually uh, Chelsea made mashed potatoes and did it in the instant pot. And so she used my little silicone um, mitts first. So, but I've used them since then because what did I make of the? We should have done. Well, you know what? Pat, we should have done a video with Chelsea doing the uh, the potatoes and the sure instant should pot. have. Yep. So you're gonna tell them about my? Uh, Thank my, you, Nanda. You're gonna tell them about my gross violation of my own. Oh, rules? y'all, y'all. You know the marriage rules for men. Marriage tips. For marriage men. tips for men. Rules of engagement. Um, I broke one. Big Tommy time. did. I mean, like he like totally ignored the rule, totally ignored it, and, and I'm a glad. And Amy's gonna get all over me. Yeah, you know what he bought me for my birthday? A vacuum cleaner. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> but not just any vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Oh, so you know, allegedly, I'm working on a book of marriage tips for men. I got to get back on it. And Amy, my professional editor, um, and actually comment. You know, lots of people on Instagram. When I every now and then I'll post one of these marriage tips for men, and one of my marriage tips is, "No, sir, a vacuum cleaner is not a good gift." And I got eat to pieces by women saying. And I agreed with that. I would not want a vacuum cleaner as a gift, but you know what? I'll take a robot vacuum cleaner any day. Ding. Yes, I was so excited. Bing. So, and I actually thought about that. Uh, I actually thought about that when I bought it, and I said, now, how am I going to explain this? You know, I'm breaking my own rules, but so. No, men, a vacuum cleaner is not a good gift unless it's a robot. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you something. Unless it's something she really wants. I, I, mean, you know. I so regret not filming her when she opened it because I believe it was the best reaction <laughs> I have ever gotten to a gift. 
Well, it was, it, well. Do me, I not react or something? <clears throat> I always try and react real good. No, you do. But I'm just saying, let me, let me rephrase that. It was the best, it was the most demonstrative positive reaction. Even she, did, <laughs> she reacted more demonstrably happy than she did when I brought in Large Marge, the big giant. You know, yeah, but I was probably thinking, how's mixer. he going to pay for that thing? <laughs> <laughs> but she, at one point, she actually did, yes. I mean, she literally went, yes. And I was like, wow. So yeah, I was tickled I was with that. I was excited. I Thank had you. researched them and researched them and researched them, and I just I just didn't pull the trigger and get one. He, Tommy said to get it, but I just never did. So yeah. he remembered, so I was glad. And it's the so. coolest thing. By the way, hey, Lori Smith, Grace. Lori says, hey, y'all, Miss Patty. Loved your zucchini bread. Oh, good. You inspired me. A neighbor gave me some giant zucchini, and I have made a dozen loaves. Come on. Wow, great. It's delicious, but great. of course not as good as yours. Oh, I'm sure it's until better. Until we, uh, uh, till we book it to, make it, I guess, to the brook, it'll have to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and that's so cool that you've made it. Uh, yes. Zucchini has got to be just about... I guess there's probably something I'm not thinking about, but I'll say it this way. One of the most utilitarian... Versatile. Versatile, that was the word I was looking mm -hmm. for. One of the most versatile vegetables. Uh, you can do anything with it, including... Mm -hmm. um, Tim's saying he's having a hard time uh, seeing things. Maybe refresh Tim. Nobody else is having a hard time right now, so... Um, I don't know. I don't know what the uh, deal is with that. Um yeah, no, the Tommy said, the Tommy told me that he was, y'all were conspiring that you actually sent it to my neighbor's house because you didn't want to come here, but I'm not bad about cheating. I would have never known. Zucchini That's, juice. Zucchini juice. I actually had some really, really giant ones, and I was juicing some other stuff that I had, and I just went ahead. He likes the zucchini juice, so it's good for you. So, anyway, but, um... <clears throat> But I'm not, I'm, I like to be surprised. It's hard to be surprised, but you definitely surprised me. What is this? That's apple. I didn't strain it, so it's got some of the parts in it. I actually have a, um, it's old, it's a, um, a juicer. And uh, so it, it still lets a lot of the pulp in there, but I figured that'll be good for you. That's so. all right. And I did some, uh, the pulp oh, is I did good some, stuff. I, did, I did a little bit of carrot too. And um, hi, Kimberly. Something else I did. Peach. I had some peaches. I did some peach juice, too. So. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to get to show this video <laughs> yeah. or not. Roxanne says she has one of the, the uh, robot vacuum cleaners, and she says she loves to watch it so she don't get anything else done. <laughs> I know, but you're not doing the sweeping, so that's the important thing. Now, I had a friend tell me if you block off smaller areas, um, it does better, and you see how big the open, it's all open all the way through to the kitchen, so I, I block this off into three areas, so that takes time, too, and I think to myself, by the time I, I'll move it, all this stuff around, I really could have swept the floor myself, <laughs> but it really does, um, to me, it gets more off the floor than when I sweep. It really, I was, I had cleaned the floor really good um, Sunday, uh, before the kids came and so i put the robot working monday morning and you know the kids were in and out but i mean they're grown kids so it wasn't like a big mess i was shocked and i, I walk around barefoot all the time and it, the floor didn't feel dirty but i was shocked at how much dirt it picked up off the floor shocked. really amazing so i don't know we got 30 minutes and the video is not quite finished converting and then importing but it's 20 minutes long oh well Okay. So we may just post it. If we don't get to yeah. show that video well, live. Well, I want to do it special for y'all because we haven't done a garden update in so long. And I wanted y'all to get to see it first. Well, but we'll see. Anyway, it we'll might. see. Um, and uh, Bandana Grandma says, I hope we can all do a lot of singing at the Homesteaders of America conference during down downtime. I'm sure is what she meant to say. She said during downtown. So I hope so. Yes. That, I hope so, too. We need to plan something for maybe Friday night or something. That would be good. Um, well, Big Bear and uh, Josh, I think, is talking about to do, trying to do a barbershop quartet. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, that would but, be so yeah, but, fun. I mean, you don't just get together and do a barbershop. you got to, you know, I don't know. Well. Uh, hey, Lori wants to know, Lori Smith-Grace wants to know, uh, can you freeze shredded zucchini? Any tips on that? Yeah, um, go ahead and strain it. Is that Lori Smith? Ralph's yeah, Ralph. Oh, okay. Ralph's Lori. Okay, all right. Uh, well, I was just making sure. Um 
Yeah, what you do that's is our, that's, that's our, our Lori. Lori. That's our Lori yeah. Smith. <laughs> Um, Grace, sorry. Yeah, well, if he had said Lloyd Smith, I would have known for sure. But anyway, um, yeah, you just grate it just like you're going to do for the uh, recipe. And if, if your recipe calls to strain it, I've actually seen some recipes that say not to strain it. But um, my recipe says to strain it. So I strain it, and then I freeze it. Now, actually, the zucchini bread I made for the market last week was made with frozen zucchini, and it did fine. I did find that it was pretty wet, but I just threw it in like that. I figured it will be more moist. So it turned out really good. Good. Annie, so, what you talking about? I, your comment, it works so well. Go ahead. The vacuum. Oh, the robot, yeah. Um, also, Lori, try throwing a handful of chocolate chips in there. It's good. Not not in the zucchini that you're freezing. No. In your zucchini bread she recipe. She knows. Well, I didn't know, so you know. You know oh, thank know. you, Sherry. Um, and Rock's, was it Rock's Corner that says that? Yeah, they're not going to be able to go to the uh, HOA this year. Oh. Man, do you have that up? What? The HOA? I have it. I don't have it up. Well, that's what I mean. I do now. Yes, this is what they're talking about. The Homesteaders of America Conference and y'all this month. For the rest of the month, for special because it's my birthday, they're having 30% <laughs> off. 30% off of the tickets for the entire month of July. So if That's you right. haven't gotten the tickets yet, you need to go grab them. And I am so excited about it. I'm actually getting to do a class on Oops. bread. And um, Sorry. Anyway, and Tommy's going to be talking about critical incident. It's going to be an updated uh, class on critical incident on the homestead. And so we're just real excited about that. I'm already starting to make my plans and everything, so. Yeah, Patty's gonna teach you how to make bread yep. with bread, how yep. to make how money to making bread. How to get started at the farmer's market, but there's she, there, she, she's put the schedule out. Um, I think Laurie liked the chocolate chip idea. Yeah. <laughs> OMG, I will. <laughs> but anyway, um, so it's going to be, it'll be a fun, fun time. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to see everybody again. You know, um, we've met different people that we've known over the internet uh, a, a time or two. And so it'll just be like a reunion when we get to see them again. So I think it'll be a fun, fun time. So, but Bandana Grandma, you need to come to uh, the Hoot Nanny too. That's our next stop yeah, is the Hoot Nanny. The Hoot Nanny. Oh, man, I should have pulled down Michael's video to, oh, to play yeah, for this. Oh, yeah, you should have. You should man. have. I think, oh, y'all, oh, I wanted to talk to y'all about this, too. I think we're going to be, um, we're going to be leaving, actually, two weeks from today. So wow. we're not 100% if we're going to be able to do our live show in two weeks because we're going to be on the choo-choo train. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah. As of now, I think our plan is to try but we, yeah. it, it'll be, yeah, it'll we'll be, try. I'm sorry, Facebook fans, we won't be able to be on Facebook, even if we're able to do it at all, because we'll probably have to do it just from an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I can only go to <clears throat> YouTube from the I, iPhone, iPhone. Kim yeah. Farmer says she's been planning for a month. Yes, but, yes. Uh, yeah. Homesteaders of America conference, so. It'll be so and, good to see Kim and Billy again. Yeah, we got, we've met them in person for the first time in Tennessee this year. Yep. So um, it'll be uh, exciting to get to see them again and everything. So there'll be lots of necks being hugged, yep, lots of yep. neck hugging going on. Oh, and Peaceful Inspiration said that her sister made chocolate zucchini bread last weekend and loved it. You know, I bet you it would be good if you put just like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of cocoa in it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet that would be good. Hmm. I might have to experiment with that. I thought about, uh, I've got a recipe I haven't tried yet, just a regular bread with zucchini and some different stuff in it. But, um... Phone's ringing again. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, while you're doing that, I'll show these goat yes, videos. Yes. So, you know, we had had trouble with the goats a couple of times. Well, uh, we found one little goat that just has, like, uh higher vertical leap than Michael Jordan and you see the the white electric fence right there well as it is in these v images it's not electrified because I've only got so many uh, fence chargers and they were not um, I, I just didn't have the the have it wired up look at that boom 
and we've got several instances where she did that again. Well, because Tommy would reinforce it and think, okay, it's going to work. And then there she goes. Look at that. So, you know, the, the plan was what I was doing is I was just, you know, trying to, uh, trying to get the visual of it to be, to stop her. Mm -hmm. And, uh, before I could get over here and film. <clears throat> yeah, this again. was, uh, you, you know, I had a voice. You had the voice on? Yeah, I think I had the voice on. Oh. I don't know. So yeah, he wasn't too happy about that one. I wasn't too happy. So <laughs> then, so I had to do quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of work to to take the charger that I had available, the solar charger available, and reroute it to where I could make this hot. And of course, all that wire you were looking at was just wrapped around fence posts and all that, so it wouldn't charge anyway. So I had to redo all of that uh, to get at least one of the strands where it would go. And so. Watch this. I think this has sound on it, so I'm going to be quiet. There she is. Y'all let me know if you hear anything from this video. We had to hide from her. Now the fence is now charged. I thought she was fixing to go over it. But she had to be a little nosy and see what Tommy was doing. Yeah, but when she backed up like that, I thought she was getting a running start. Mm hmm Hello. <laughs> Hi all. You see this? Only that wire is hot. She touched it. She ain't looked at it since. Nope. No more goats in the garden. That was all it took. It got her right up where, it, right at the top of her, where I her horn. Was, oh, was it on her nose? I, I thought, thought it was closer range. to her horns. It might have been on her nose, but. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, I mean, not that we want to shock our goats or whatever, but doggone. I mean, we were out there working. Oh, we were in the garden, and yeah. she was jumping in the yeah. garden. Now, if she saw us looking, she would... Uh, Funniest thing. She wouldn't do it, but that's why I would kind of hide. Or if I turn my head like I wasn't looking towards her, she'd just jump right over. So, anyway, um... Rain Country says that she adds cocoa powder to her banana bread sometimes, and it's pretty good, so she's sure that it would be uh, good in the zucchini. And Valerie said that Tara inferred that she would be at the Hoot Nanny. Yes, they are toying with the idea. It's still not 100% as of yesterday, I think, but um, I think she's they're seriously considering it. Plus, they're uh, kind of looking at a house over that way, so... Anyway, we'll see. We haven't heard anything on the house, so. Oh, yeah. We'll see. All right, let's see if I've got this video available. I guess not quite yet, man. Oh, Valerie says she hopes she told the other ones the goat, but uh, the thing is, is that that's the main one. Another one of the smaller ones was doing it, but the other goats hadn't been jumping on that part of the fence. So, I, I don't know. I may, have made a I, may, I may have a problem here. Why? Unable to open the media, okay. So well, it hadn't processed yet. So well, we're out of time we're, anyway. Yeah, we're out of time anyway. But, uh, well, I mean, we're not out of time, but we don't have enough time to show that video. But um, anyway, so I'm, I'm very glad. I feel so much better about the garden because y'all, well, no, y'all didn't see the green beans. The green beans have made it all the way back up to the top, and I'm picking a Past few. Past the top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, so I'm picking a few green beans, and, and I, I really am sorry that... Uh, the video didn't get ready in time. that's all right we'll just post it you know, I'll, so. we'll, I'll do it we'll do a little intro and outro and uh edit that video once it finished processing and just upload it as a regular video mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. hey chief taylor how are you sir good to see you i need to come back over and see you boys <laughs> 
But anyway, so, um, yeah, <clears throat> Rox Connor, she wasn't wanting to be with us. She, the first time I saw her, she jumped the fence and went straight to the green beans and ate the whole post off. By the way, you want to uh, so. you want to explain to Chief Taylor why your head, head's wet and. <laughs> See, Chief Taylor just born. That's, that's not grease, Chief. Uh, my no, wife does grease. wash her hair. Yeah, I've been. Uh, Came straight from the garden in to do the show. So yes. that's perspiration, shall we say. Yes, yes. And uh, So, and we've got to go back out to the garden after the show because I didn't get the squash and zucchini picked. Okay. So we got to go get that picked. Yeah, i got to take care of the critters and do mm-hmm. some things too. Uh, but. So hopefully the goat problem solved it because yes. you know, she was the repeat offender mm-hmm. and uh, just. I'm gonna... And I mean the thing is, is that I saw her. I text Tommy. Already got a goat in the garden. I went over there real early Saturday morning. I he couldn't believe it. Yet. I said, got a goat in the garden. I go. I, I can go in from the barn from the garden, and I go in the main area, and I start rattling feet around, and I leave it open, and she follows me through there. And then she, she's always been a jumper. She jumps up on a, on a feed bin and jumps over the fence and gets back where she's supposed to be. No big deal to put her up. So yeah, she, I didn't feed her. I didn't feed them because I thought, you know, I don't want to reward them. So I go back out to the garden. I get back to where I was. And I look up, and she's over the fence <laughs> again. Is. And I'm like, really? But at least I saw where she was. I didn't know where she was getting over, you know. And so, anyway. That's, it was funny, uh, but every time, how many times did, did, did we repeat that that day? Three, four? No, she jumped, she, how many times did she jump in that day? That day. Four to five. Four to five times. Because she had jumped in there two to three times um, before you came oh. over. Well, what I was going to say is it was the weirdest thing. She would jump in there and start eating. Luckily, she was just eating grass. Yeah, she would stay over there away from us. And you could walk straight to the barn and say, come here, goat. And she'd come right in the barn and go back where she's supposed to be mm-hmm. every single time. Yep. And uh, it was weird, but that goat's got leaping ability. I actually thought about tying her legs together <laughs> or something because, I mean, you saw how she could just spring up and uh, yeah. she jumped like a deer, which, you know, Cousin Lamar's always said a goat's basically a deer or yeah. a deer's basically a goat, you know. Mm-hmm. But bye, Kim. Bye, Kim. Here's the expert gardener, Misty McMorris, has joined hey, us um, on our Facebook show. We'll have to have her on as a resident expert to tell us how she gets <laughs> such a bountiful uh, harvest. Mm-hmm. Uh, Misty, uh, Misty's a friend of mine. She actually, um, let's see, she's just a little bit older than my oldest child. So she's really, I can almost be her mom. Not quite Misty, but almost. <laughs> But anyway, so uh, it's just been so neat to watch her. She she she'll call me and text me and ask garden questions. They're they're in the process. They're they're getting bigger and bigger. They're starting to grow a lot of their own food now and everything. She's actually told me that they're considering, you know, trying to do a little bit for the farmers market, which would be amazing. But it's so neat to see young couples. Her and her husband both are interested in gardening. But to to be interested in growing their own food, knowing where their food comes from, because a lot of times, like at the farmers market, what we're seeing. You know, uh, Craig is a farmer, and he's younger, but he's the only younger guy. And um, we've actually had, you know, uh, one of our farmers that was a regular pass, you know, and everything. So, you know, most of our farmers are older people, and so it's nice to see younger people wanting to grow food and and wanting to sell it, too, you know. But uh, but anyway, so I just think it's really neat that Misty and her husband is, is interested in doing that, so. Yep. Yep, and doing a great job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she put a picture on Facebook of just having a bountiful harvest this year. Yeah, and I told so, her she needed to have a booth next year at the, the farmer's market. I called her and kind of was begging to pr- for some, some produce tomorrow because we're going to be a little low. But <laughs> <laughs> she's already picked in it all, so it's all yeah. spoken for. So, anyway. Uh, hey, Patricia. Hi, Jesse from Georgia. Uh, Carrie said that our goats were the happiest dogs we ever had. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We've had goats that thought they were dogs that actually chased cars and all, too. So <laughs> we got two now that think they're pets anyway. I don't know if they think they're dogs, but they think they're pets. Yeah. Uh, we call them the girls. Well, and they are. Yeah, they're very pet-like because yeah. they, they were bottle-raised. Yeah, we bottle-raised them, and they didn't. I mean, they stayed out in the yard. We raised them in the backyard. We put up the hot wire fence. For them and they would just wander around and free range and everything but um y'all know it's 15 minutes to pratt yep it's a quarter to pratt right now that's what time <laughs> it is it's a quarter to pratt you need to go to the pratt family homestead when you leave here 
at uh, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern for the Pratt Family Homestead Live. Um, the link is in the description of this video if you're not familiar with their channel. Uh, we're, we cannot wait to see the Pratts. Yes. And I wish I'd have thought to download... Um, you don't have any, what the the birthday oh, the, video oh the happy gosh, birthday that video was so let me see sweet. if I can get it keep talking um uh, I just want to mention that Bonnie says uh, Bonnie Dixon asked for us to please pray for the Henry family from Kentucky who had a house fire last week two of the three children died and their little girl is in critical condition oh, so no. y'all please please keep them in your prayers uh, how tragic that just mm, 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 that is just terrible. Um, also, I haven't had an update. I haven't seen anything come across about the guy. Is it, where is it? Is it not Taiwan? Where are they, where the soccer team in the They're country? out. They're, they're out. all out? They're all out. <gasps> oh, good. They're oh, all out. good, good, good. All right, keep in mind, they're seeing you. Right yeah, now. I know, okay. I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember that, that they're not where, seeing that. I don't know how to find that. Yeah, they're not seeing it's that. It's on, um, it's on the Pratt pack. Is it on the Pratt pack? I mean, I don't know. It's not on Jenny's. It Mike filmed it. It's on the Pratt Family Homestead. I think. Okay. But Is anyway, it in the group. I'm so. I don't think it's in the group, baby. Okay. Well, I'm just. just but keep anyway, talking. um, I did not know that they were all out. So that is that's huge. I, the last report I saw was that the nine of them was out. They're so all out. That is so great. unbelievable bravery and heroics by uh, mm -mm -mm. the team of um, rescuers. Yeah. Just. Just incredible. Just totally amazing. So, um, anyway, I've been doing research um, on the high tunnel, too. I haven't had a lot of time for Wait, it. Wait, did they know we got one? Did we announce that? Uh-huh. We told them last week. Okay. But anyway, um, so um, I've grown Cherokee purple in the past. Um, Craig actually put out feelers to some of his customers, and I saw somebody mention it on here. I've got Cherokee purple tomatoes. I was planning, plant, I'm going to plant some for the fall, and uh, I actually, when the man saw that I had heirloom tomatoes, he and the darker ones, he asked me if they're Cherokee purple. I had a few people ask about that, so um, I'm going to plan on doing that. And somebody asked me about Marion tomatoes, and so I actually looked them up. I only see a couple of places where. Um, I could actually get them from so i'm going to plan on trying the marion tomato too i think i've grown that in the past so all right so is it ready now? i don't know i can't download it so just keep talking i'm gonna oh. try something right quick oh so he's gonna try something new so I just gotta keep talking well, it's just not new i just have to uh and keep talking um let me think what else um has been going on well we talked about going to the homesteaders of america conference which that's the last conference we're going to be going to uh, the next conference we talked about is going to be the Hoot Nanny, and then that's in July. And then in August we're going to what is Doug and Stacy's conference name? Uh, it is the Homesteading Life, Life conference. conference. Homesteading Life Conference, yeah. Yeah, and that is in August. I think it's the <clears throat> I think it's the twelfth and thirteenth. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're going to be going there, and then we actually was asked to go in September to go uh, to the Homestead Days at um gosh i can't the homestead um uh, education center the mississippi homestead education center over yeah. in starkville and so um we're going to be going there in september so we're going to have be going july august september and october so we'll be uh ready oh. to be home <laughs> i think they're doing uh i think did y'all yeah they saw all that here i am trying to catch this screen capture up oh so let i just don't know how to do this let's see something can y'all see that can they see that? What's on your page? No, not oh, yet. Oh, they're seeing they this. Yeah, they're seeing that. <laughs> we'll make it do it the same way. Oh, wow. So what happens if I do this? I don't know. No, that ain't working. Because you got to hear it. Yeah, it's not coming yeah. up on there. you got to be able to hear it. Sorry. Oh, well. Dang. See, you should have planned ahead, baby. Yeah, I meant to. I meant to plan ahead. And get there, it's done. on there now. Look, for whatever you did that time, it's oh, on there. Oh, it did, huh? Yeah, but I can't get back to it to push play. So, well, maybe push play and then do that turn around thing. Let's see something here. Anyway, Grace, uh, Mike and Jenny's baby girl wished me a happy birthday, and it is the cutest thing ever. Oh, my goodness. Ever. It's the oh, cutest goodness. thing ever. Oh, it's so, so cute. Give me just a minute. Let me see. So... 
configure uh, it's different than the, the, there's an update to the screen so I can tell you one thing I'm so glad Tommy's the one that does all this stuff and not me because yeah. uh, I don't know about any of this stuff yeah oh well oh well I can't, can't do, do it. it. Can't do it. <laughs> oh can't well. He. But anyway, what's what pictures do you have on here? That's it. I'm done. You done with the I'm pictures? I'm done with all the pictures in the pictures. video. What no, it's no no pictures. It's all videos that we wanted oh, to play. Oh, okay. Okay. And this is a picture. And we did that, so I guess we can just sit here. <laughs> maybe maybe Mike can help. But anyway, what can I would you, like. Any help, Mike? I would like to know um, what's your favorite heirloom tomato variety because I'm looking at what I want to grow I may have some keepers from my experiment this year but I'd like to uh, you know I just want to find some that I just that's good producers that's nice slicers um, I do want to grow an Amish paste it's an Amish paste yeah. We've grown Amish yeah. paste before. Um, I want to try and find the ones that I grew before, though, because they were big. And I did look back at my older seeds, and I found some. So, um, But anyway, if y'all have um, any ideas or what's your favorite tomato, um, I have a green zebra out there growing. And y'all, it's getting so big. I thought it was a cherry tomato. It wasn't because I was told it was a cherry tomato. It's just because... It sounds like a cherry tomato to me, okay? I guess that's what it is. But um, anyway, I've got it in the middle of my two cherry tomatoes. I didn't show that on the video, I should have. But it's still not ripe yet. Um, but it's, it's, it's like about that big around. So it's a, ni it's a nice size tomato. But um, Gosh, that's a long ripening cycle though. Yeah, it really is. Um, and I really, I can't tell how good it's doing and how much it's making because it's it's wedged in between my cherry tomatoes. So I can't, and then they're green. So I thought, oh, this is gonna be lovely trying to uh, pick them while they're ripe with them. They're already, they're green. So anyway, yeah, uh, Rox Corner said that uh, Amish paste are good. Uh, Cindy Pavic Pulliam says, did you plant okra? Oh. Yes. You don't know the okra story. Yes. Yeah, we planted okra, and the goats ate it three times, and it's or twice. But they didn't get it, most of it anyway, down below the growth cap or growth point or whatever. So it's producing. And uh, yeah, and I picked a five, uh, not a five gallon bucket, a gallon, a gallon bucket. bucket last time. Yeah. So and it needs picking. That's what needs to be done too this evening is the okra. So we've got a video that I was going to try to show you, but I'm having mm -hmm. technical difficulties and it didn't convert or something. So we're just going to. It's a video we shot moments before time to go live, mm -hmm. and we'll just edit it and put it uh, upload it as a standalone garden update video, mm -hmm. and you'll see uh, the the and in the I'll put it in the 2018 garden playlist. So you can go back in that playlist and see the the absolute uh, what am I trying to say roadblocks that that okra had to get through yeah. to get to the state that it's yeah. in. But it looks great. Yeah, it looks. You would never know it had been eaten down like it was. And also, um, I don't know if that's helped it to branch out more, but it really has branched branched out. I put 36 plants, no, 56, I think, in that box. And I have way more than that. Now, I did lose a few plants because the goats had pulled them up and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to have a nice okra harvest. I'll be putting okra. In fact, it's ready to pick today. And I have okra in the refrigerator that I made yesterday. So, um, Valley, Valerie asks, how big will the high tunnel be? It's going to be 30 by 75. So, it's going to be big. And I think 12 feet high in the middle. Is that right? 14. 14? Mm-hmm. Tall, so it's yeah. gonna be big. It's mm -hmm. gonna be. It's gonna be good. Gonna be. Gonna be good. So, mm -hmm. uh, Patty's very excited about having early yeah. tomatoes and late tomatoes, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, we're actually talking about today that you know we will be able to fill in a gap ahead of our local farmers, and and have early stuff for the market, and then when that kind of starts playing out on our end. The, the farmers, like Craig and others, will be ready to pick up the slack. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully toward the end of the season, our high tunnel will be kicking into that next phase and we'll be able to, to pick it up from them 
you know, when their primary growth season is over. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, it should have a double effect of, uh, mm-hmm. of actually extending the market season as well. I don't know. We'll mm-hmm. see how that – we'll see how it goes. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we're excited about that. I want to show them one thing. I saw Nunda post my sourdough stuff on here. Um, let me see if I can find it. I want to show them something I did. Mini Mike will help you look. Mini Mike's helping you look. Mini Mike. Mm-hmm. I just want to show them. I haven't done this this year yet, but I made my apple fritter bread today for the market, and uh, it's got app. It's got app chopped up apples in the sourdough, and with cinnamon and sugar, and it is so good. So I made it one of these good. to bring to the uh, market, and I've got icing on top. So, and I'm also doing a lemon uh, sourdough queen loaf. Let's see it is. And I decided uh, I had made up my own lemon filling, but I decided to buy some lemon pie filling, and I'm really liking um, the way it does. And I'm now and I'm putting a lemon glaze on top of it too. So um, the directions and everything to make that is in the uh, little ebook that um, Nunda posted on there. In the Sourdough Start to Finish ebook, which is available at aldermanfarms.net slash ebooks, and I believe the ever ready Nunda mm-hmm. has posted yeah. uh, the link in the YouTube channel. Oh, I'm showing on my cinnamon roll and it's not there. Oh, no, it's not. Here <laughs> it is. Boom! The cinnamon rolls turned out really nice now today oh they look pretty mm-hmm. i really would like to eat one patricia uh patricia glass williams says what is a high tunnel well it's like a giant greenhouse mm-hmm. but it's covered with plastic and in our case a shade cloth mm-hmm. and the sides roll up um both ends have big giant doors in it so um it's typically the primary difference between a greenhouse and a high tunnel is that greenhouses are can are typically heated yeah, or they are heated, or yeah. cooled and high tunnels typically are not mm-hmm. and um, the primary purpose for a high tunnel is the extension of a growth season mm-hmm. whereas a greenhouse is typically for starting plants and you know things of that nature so we will have like plants planted in the ground in this high tunnel mm-hmm. rows of tomatoes inside that it's like a covered garden uh so to speak so hey pia kayla beth reno says she'll be at the market to get some bread oh good Yay, kb <laughs> um yeah everybody out there saying i'm torturing them i'm sorry y'all All right. i wish i could shove it through that camera time to go yep. so right quick here's your reminder whether you eat drink or whatever you do do all to the glory of god you can find that in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 please you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Look, can I say one thing right yeah. quick? Right quick. Yeah. Um, y'all remember uh, Carly Ann came in last week uh, with uh, the little dog for her boyfriend and everything. It has parvo. So if y'all wouldn't mind, there's really no treatment for that. There, I mean, there's some stuff that they're going to be doing and everything. But if y'all wouldn't mind, say a little prayer for the puppy. I know they'd appreciate it. They're really, really sad about that. So. Really sad. We anyway. had a batch of puppies one time. When they, when our kids were right, little right. and they prayed over those puppies mm-hmm. and they recovered, so God loves animals. Yep. And He loves kids. So yeah. anyway, everybody go to the Pratts Pratt yep. Family Homestead on YouTube. And tell them Alderman Farms sent you. See you next week or before. Next week or before, but not week after that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Bye.